How, how, how are you? How was the time off? Do you get time off? Um, it was all spent at home mostly. Uh, my uh, middle son's on Starkville High's football team, so they had summer conditioning, and my youngest one's doing football, basketball, and baseball. So a lot of little league tournaments, a lot of running around the state. We'll get uh, four days in Pittsburgh uh, starting tomorrow morning and, uh, and get back to it next Thursday. I guess the first question should be on our graduate transfer punter, but we'll probably pass on that and talk about it. <laughs> sure. Obviously, your big summer you know, question. What do you hear about the quarterback competition and so on? No, I mean, the big thing is with with uh, Tom Lee's, Tommy's just getting him assimilated to his teammates and, you know, making the guys feel comfortable around him. And, you know, it sounds like he's been doing a real good job with workouts. I know the players are doing throwing and, you know, seven on seven stuff on their own. So, more than anything, just want to get him around the guys. Uh, get them comfortable with Starkville, and then when we get into camp, you know, we'll start doing X's and O's and start letting the guys compete, let the chips fall where they may. What was the conversation process that ended up with him coming to Mississippi State? I don't know that it was different than many other transfers. You know, he got in the portal and, you know, probably talked a few days later than that, and he took a couple official visits, and to me it was, you know, about his decision-making criteria and what he wanted for his last year of college football, and, you know, he and his family felt this was the best fit. Do you have a decision time frame that you want to make for your quarterback? Ideally, it's as soon as possible. There's a Wednesday kind of a script scrimmage that we have. And it's 10 days out before the first game. And you'd like to have it, you know, by the end of that scrimmage. So you start uh, opponent prep the next day. But I'm not going to paint myself in the corner and you know, necessarily say it has to be by this date. You know, uh, I think when it becomes obvious to me, it becomes obvious to the to the team that, that someone stepped up and, and won the job, uh, you know, we'll name it. But I, I don't want to put a hard and fast date on it just because, you know, 21 years of doing it, you know, it, it never really kind of works out how you think it is. How, how does that work? Is is it? Does Tommy have to take the job from Keaton, or is it truly an open situation no, it's, right it's, now? It was like it was for for Keaton in spring. That you know he was fighting against Jalen and, and, and Garrett, and you know now you have two older guys and. You know, we'll uh, you know, sit down as a staff when we get back next Thursday and kind of talk about what we're going to do, you know, with the, with the reps and how we're going to balance that out. But, uh, you know, everyone is involved in the competition just like every other position. But, you know, conventional wisdom dictates that the guy who's in his fifth year and the guy who's in his third year who have played in some games are going to be the primary contenders. And, uh, you know, we'll go to put a good plan together. They'll get, you know, a good amount of reps with, with, with the ones and with the twos. And, We'll see where it goes from there. You mentioned Jalen and Garrett. How have those guys sort of received a, another quarterback sort of being thrown into the room there? Well, they've been great. It, it was communicated to those guys, you know, once uh, it became a possibility. And, and I meet with every player individually once spring ball ends. And I think it was after that. And, uh, you know, kind of had another conversation. We felt that it, it was a, a more distinct possibility. And I think the message for the guys was, you know, we, we didn't we didn't address Tucker Day and Kobe Schexnader when we signed Corliss Waitman or, you know, it, it's an opportunity to improve the team and improve the position. And, uh, you know, they understood that. And it's, you know, the most competitive, you know, division in all college football. We had an opportunity to, you know, make the team better. They, they understood as, as coaches that's our, that's our job. In that same 